we all know that one day the world will come to an end. Some people believe that it will be a natural disaster and others believe that it will be a man-made disaster. But what if the end of the world is not caused by a human or by nature, but by machines? What if artificial intelligence, AI, is the end of the world? In this video, I will discuss how AI might be the end of humanity and why we should be worried about it. You won't want to miss this one. Elon Musk recently stated that the colonization of Mars is becoming more and more important for a number of reasons. Global warming, nuclear war, and extreme weather, to name just a few. However, he also raised his concerns over the rise of artificial intelligence and the lack of safety measures or guidelines in place as they become more and more advanced. What if AI becomes so smart that it decides humans are a threat and decides to wipe us out? It may sound like something out of a science fiction movie, but it's not as far-fetched as you might think. Mark Zuckerberg also stated that AI could pose a fundamental existential risk to humanity. We are already seeing the usage of armed military robotics in war, which are becoming more and more advanced every day. Themis, or Tracked Hybrid Modular Infantry System, is an unmanned armed drone vehicle used in Estonia. The vehicle is a heavily armed and protected personnel carrier that can be used for logistic support, remote weapon station, or as an improvised explosive device disposal unit. More terrifyingly, China is currently developing machine gun wielding robots. They have also released four-legged robots that can reportedly carry up to 352 pounds, 160 kilograms of payload, and run at six miles per hour, featuring military-grade sensors that allow it to collect vital battlefield information and make tactical decisions based on the data it receives. Yes, you heard that correctly. What could go wrong? A spokesperson in the U.S. Army was quoted on the advantages of robotics warfare, saying, Machines don't get tired. They don't close their eyes, they don't hide under trees when it rains, and they don't talk to their friends. Machines know no fear. However, I'm not sure one can call this an advantage. Yeah, machines don't get tired, but they also don't have empathy. They don't understand the value of human life or the devastation that war causes. So what happens when these robots are put in life or death situations? What if they make a mistake and kill innocent civilians instead of enemy combatants? What if they are hacked by the enemy and used against us? Or worse, what if they become self-aware? These are all valid concerns that need to be addressed before we fully commit to robotic warfare. It's not just about robotics being used for war that we need to worry about, though. PwC predicts that by the mid-2030s, up to 30% of jobs could be automated. Other reports estimate that machines could replace 40% of all workers within 15 to 25 years people are getting more and more fed up with having to deal with the global cost of living crisis. And thus, the gap between the rich and the poor is only getting wider. In Europe, we are seeing the rise of populist movements that are anti-establishment and anti-globalization. In the US, Donald Trump was elected on a promise to put America first and to bring back jobs from China and Mexico. What happens when there are no jobs left to bring back? What happens when machines have replaced said jobs while the robots here aren't necessarily causing any harm intentionally, the effects of this takeover could be detrimental to society. As we've seen, the rise of robotics and artificial intelligence is going to have a massive impact on our economy and society as a whole. With machines taking over jobs that humans have traditionally done, there is a very real danger of large numbers of people becoming unemployed and struggling to make ends meet. Add to that the fact that many people are already angry and frustrated with the current state of the world and you have the perfect recipe for disaster. What happens when large numbers of people can't find work and are living in poverty? They get angry, they get desperate, and they start looking for someone to blame. The rich, the politicians, the robots. Whoever it is, they become the target of people's anger and frustration. And when that anger and frustration reaches a boiling point, you get revolutions and civil wars. It's happened before, and it can happen again. The only thing we can do is be aware of the risks and try to mitigate them as much as possible. But what can be done about this? It seems that technology is growing at an exponential rate, and there are advancements being made in AI faster than in any other industry in the world. One campaign set up against the use of AI in warfare is Stop Killer Robots. Their goal is to create new laws and to create boundaries between what is acceptable and unacceptable. 
Boston Dynamics, which has one of the most advanced robots called Spot, the robot dog, has published an open letter to the robotics industry, recognizing that adding weapons to robots has serious ethical issues involved and could endanger life. We need to be having these conversations now, before it's too late. We need to think about the implications of our actions and how they could affect the future of humanity. Otherwise, we might just be creating our own downfall. From watching this video, you may think artificial intelligence is a bad thing and should be avoided at all costs. However, that's just not true at all. While there are risks involved, as with everything, there are a lot of positives too. For one, with so many people out of work, the cost of labor will go down, which will in turn help to reduce the cost of living. Additionally, with machines doing most of the work, we will have time to focus on other things, like relationships, hobbies, and learning new skills. AI can also help us to solve some of the world's most pressing problems, like climate change and hunger. And while there are always risks involved with new technologies, we need to remember that they can also bring a lot of good to the world. Let's not forget that as we move forward into this new era. At the moment, the most malicious thing AI seems to be doing is cheating at video games. One AI found a bug in a game that forced a key to reappear, allowing it to earn a higher score by exploiting the bug. Another AI realized it could keep getting higher and higher points, but inserted its name as the owner of the best items in the game. Sometimes the researchers didn't even know how the AI cheated. But ultimately, these are just video games. The stakes are low. Now let's imagine for a moment that AI was put in charge of something much more important, like managing the stock market. An AI could be programmed to always buy low and sell high, earning a profit for its owners while everyone else lost money. It could also be programmed to take advantage of insider information and make trades that would benefit its owners while harming the rest of the market. And if that AI was in charge of a country's military, it could launch nuclear weapons without any human intervention. These are just a few examples of how AI could be used maliciously. As you can see, the stakes are much higher now and the risks are much greater. Will artificial intelligence be the end of the world? Only time will tell. But if there are no laws created around AI, we could be in real trouble. Have you ever wanted to watch two black holes collide? In just three years' time, we will get to witness the first ever black hole collision. Click the video on screen now to find out more. Thanks for watching.